Hey everyone, I am uh, recording this a little bit ahead of my trip. As some of you know, I am in Morocco. I'm not really in Morocco. I'm not, by the time you watch this, I will be in Morocco. Right now I'm in my home preparing for Morocco. So I appreciate you um, all sort of doing this on your own time and or coming together however you decided to do it. Um, so I just want to extend my gratitude to you. It's kind of weird because, you know, when they say that time does not exist, this will be a little bit of my Dharma talk for today, uh, time does not exist. And this is like a perfect um, kind of explanation of that happening. So you're listening to this whenever you're listening to this. And it's now for you. But this is recorded in the past. So this has already been done. But your now is focusing in on it right now. And for me, this moment is in the past. For you, it's in the now. For those yet to hear it, it's in the future. So for me and my now right now, you listening to it are in the future. And I know that's sort of like, wait, what? You know, but it's a really cool awareness to have that, oh my gosh, this is sort of what we talk about, no such thing as time. Because whose time are we talking about? And the only time, that's when they say the only time that like matters is the present moment. It's because that is what is for you right now. So even though this has been recorded in the past, and I am quite literally, your now is me existing in the past. You are existing to me in the future, which happens to be right now. My right now and your right now. It's mind blowing, right? It's kind of wild. Now I hope that doesn't distract your thinking of as you're moving through this meditation, but I want you to realize just like, yeah, how fluid time really is. And the only way you can measure time is by your now. This is your now. So on that note, let's get ourselves nice and comfortable. And you can go ahead and close your eyes if they are not already closed. I want you to first take that nice deep breath. Just pay attention to that first breath of awareness. I want you to notice how it feels for your body to breathe right now. And as you're bringing your awareness to the right now, pay attention to your body. And let your body begin to just relax. With every breath, your body lets go of a little bit more tension. Notice how your chest rises and falls as you breathe. Go ahead and feel what it feels like to be in your body. And if you need to stretch or move or wiggle, go ahead and do that. And this is quite literally the right now. In the right now, let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Unclench your hands. Relax your jaw and your tongue. Let your eyelids fall heavy. And allow yourself to only be aware of the rhythm of your breath.
And in the right now, as you are beginning to let go and let yourself go deeper and deeper into relaxation, with every breath, your body just releases any tension wherever it may be. Follow your breath. Let your breath become deliberate and slow and steady. And anytime you're distracted by a noise or a thought, literally notice the distraction and notice the mind's desire to create dialogue around that distraction. Maybe it wants to name who or what the noise is from. Maybe the thought is an intruding, stressful thought. Or maybe it's just a random, silly thought passing through your mind. To begin to sort of detach from or pull back from your thoughts simply by observing them. Your main focus is your breaths and your relaxation. Anytime your focus is moved from those two things, notice what is happening to distract you. And then before your brain can go into a flurry of follow-up thoughts from that distraction, simply bring your attention back to your breath over and over and over. See if you can take one full inhalation and one full exhalation without being distracted. Sometimes it's harder than it sounds. The mind is so used to going and going. It might take a while for it to slow down. So be sure to approach your meditation with self-compassion and patience. All there is right now is your breath and your awareness of it. Just these few moments of awareness of our breath actually helps the body to heal, helps the body to use the energy of 
thoughts that you would have wasted on thoughts. And it uses it to repair cells, and to detox, and many other things. to begin to use your imagination and imagine that a small newborn infant has been placed in your arms. I want you to imagine you can feel the weight and the warmth of this brand new infant. This infant is wrapped and bundled so snugly. And go ahead and watch, notice if it has hair or not. I'm looking to just gently pull this infant into you. And then begin to feel this love emanating from this infant in your arms. And the love is like a magnet and it is attached to you. And allow your curiosity and love for this infant to open up. And pull that infant in even closer. Lean in and smell the forehead of this tiny baby. And right in your hands, gently kiss this baby's head. And imagine you can feel the energy exchange from your lips to this infant's head. And imagine you can feel the baby relax, deeply relax in the safety of your arms. Realize this genuine love and energy you have for this child is bouncing back to you. All this child needs right now is safety, security, comfort. Needs to be held and loved. And in this moment, you are providing everything and more for this infant. And realize this infant only feels safe and secure in your arms. This baby knows that he or she will meet many, many, many people along its or her life to come. But your arms, and your love, and your security are always going to be the baseline for it. And 
and begin to imagine that the energy and love emanating from the infant is actually sort of language, sort of telepathically talking to you. And listen as this infant tells you what he or she is expecting from you, what they need from you and want from you. And imagine the infant begins to make requests at different phases in their lives. There's one thing they need at this newborn stage. But at three years old, let them tell you what they need then. Let them tell you about age five and then 10 and just don't go forward in this baby's time, their timeline of life. And let this baby know that you will be present with them through all these different milestones. and travel with this baby's timeline for as long as you can imagine. From birth all the way up to whatever age you get to with them. Maybe you take them all the way until their death at a hundred years old. Notice that this baby's needs and desires change over time. And place it in your mind that your needs or how you're needed will change. And it's okay to change and be uncomfortable with the changes that are necessary of you in order to care for this child. And see if you can feel if there's any particular point in this child's life that is yet to be lived. See if there's a particular time frame that is going to be a little more challenging for this infant. And because you're intuitive, begin to explain this time. Give 
this infant a very calm heads up of what's to come. And reassure the infant of how you will respond to him or her. Remind this infant that no matter what happens, you are always there. And remind yourself that there will be times where even you don't know what to do for this infant. Even you will be scared or sad or feel powerless on how to help this little one. And remind yourself of who or where you can go and turn to for guidance and advice, assistance, support, love. Let this infant be a reminder to you that nothing can be done completely alone. And everything can be accomplished with the clarity of the heart and mind. And watch as that infant slowly and calmly stretches a big giant stretch in your arms. So safe and comfortable, trusting you entirely. This infant has zero worries. This infant knows that all will be well and figured out. There are many people, many places to turn to. And it's okay not to know. It's okay to feel powerless. It's okay to not know how to change. And through all of that, you'll be there. Allow your today year old self to also feel that trust. All will be figured out. You're not alone. It's okay not to know. It's okay not to want to change. 
It's okay to feel powerless. It's okay to feel unclear. At the very, very deep bottom of all of it, you are loved, supported, safe, and secure. When you picture yourself as this baby in someone's arms, your arms, you will be reminded to just sink into trust. Feel that baby in your arm one more time as you look down. You realize this baby has been you all along. And the future version of you is holding that baby. That baby has known you all along. baby has only ever needed you to trust you, to sink into the safety and comfort of your own self, to sink into that loving, kindness, compassionate you. You're both the giver and receiver of all of that love to yourself. And imagine that that child literally gets absorbed into your body. And feel the love, that an infinite and unbreakable connection of love from you to that child and that child to you. Imagine that love is radiating and emanating through your whole body and shining outward. And anyone in your presence gets wrapped up into that energy field of love, and safety, security, and compassion. Let this feeling sink in for just a moment as you breathe this awareness through you. When you're ready and only when you're ready, you can begin to twist and turn, stretch, make whatever motions and movements your body wants in this moment. You can begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. When you're ready, you can open your eyes, but only when you're ready. And gradually come back into this moment.
and take a few minutes to come fully back into this moment. I think it's uh, ironic that I started this about time and how time doesn't exist and my now is actually in the past by the time you see this and that you are in my future yet I'm in the past but in the right now we are sharing and then the meditation itself was all about time <laughs> and being able to sort of care for ourselves in the now. And that now affects the past and the present and the future. So whatever your experience is with this meditation, I want you to know that your infant self received that love and energy then, even though you're sending it today. And in that moment, that infant, your old baby self and your today year old self created the now together. And so all that love and understanding and trust and healing and whatever else came through for you, it's been with you all along because of this meditation that we're doing today. It always existed in the future, which happens to be the right now. And I know that's wild to hear and to let your heads get wrapped around there's a few pieces I'd like for you to sort of take away um, to really pay attention to how it felt to hold this infant and any emotions that you felt um, about being responsible for the infant, if that felt good for you or not good or overwhelming or maybe it didn't come up at all. Um, some other points I would notice is what part of that infant's life did you sort of warn him or her about? And does that correlate to a time in your life that you see like that was a difficult time? And pay attention to the information you told yourself, your baby self. Did you apply that to yourself when you went through that tough time? So if your tough time and your warning to your baby self was about 15 years old and you told that infant what to do, did you do that yourself when you were 15? Or if it's yet to come, to really pay attention to, I know what I need to do for myself. This is a powerful one. It's This is inner child work, but even even more than the typical inner child work. I mean, this was, this, well, it's all the same, I guess I should say, but um, I wanna know if, how many of you thought you were the baby right off the bat? How many of you had no idea? How many of you saw maybe a baby of a different gender? What does that mean? For those of you that are parents or aunts or uncles, uh, you might've seen your own children or, or nieces and nephews or someone else's baby. There's so many different scenarios that could have come up in this one. And I really encourage all of you to share some of your experiences in the Facebook group so that a dialogue can still be had on this meditation because I do think this is a, a really valuable one if we could really process it together. Um, and I also want you to pay attention to how you feel now after the meditation, getting a little tiny glimpse of possibilities of clarity in this experience. 
How do you feel in this moment? Can you sink into that trust of that unconditional love that you expressed to that baby? And if you couldn't express unconditional love to that baby, can you see why or what's coming up from you that sort of prevented that love from happening? And then you can see that that would be something that you have created as sort of a block within yourself to move forward. So there's a lot, there's a lot in this particular meditation. So I really would love to hear um, the dialogue about it um, in the Facebook group, if you don't mind. And if those of you who are not in the Facebook group, you can uh, email us and we can send you the link for that or just look up Meditation with Deborah Hanlon on Facebook. It should show up. Um, so I think that is it for now. I thank you. I miss you, but I don't really because you are going to, I'm going to see you soon. Um, but I miss, just know that even though I don't know what I will be doing while you're doing this, I don't know where I'll be. Just know that the way that time works is we're still going to be connected in that moment because of this now. So even though you don't know what's coming and I don't know what's coming in the now, we're sharing the certainty of all of that uncertainty, which is so cool. So I love you all. I miss you. I will see you soon. And I hopefully have really cool things to learn. Well, of course, I'll have a lot of cool things to learn, but I hope I will be able to learn them and then articulate and share them with all of you when I get back. So everyone have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week, and I will see you soon. Namaste.